That's sweet, huh? Well, whether you're just thinking about getting married or maybe you're well, well into your, uh, your marriage uh, years and years, every relationship can uh, use a little tune-up, and it's, uh, it's better if you can catch it right in the beginning and, and start off right. But uh, again, every marriage can benefit from the marriage and uh, uh, family pastor here, Darren Carrington, and the Rock Church's Marriage Getaway. It's great to see you. Uh, good to be here. Good so, um, when do you like to start counseling people? If you, if you had your, your, your choice in terms of married couples, when do you like to, to see them? So, uh, I would like to see them before they get married. So, they go through premarital counseling because when you're dating, you're not going to talk about the things that's going to maybe cause this. Right. You want things to flow smoothly. You avoid all those subjects. Yes, exactly. So, if, if we can get to them and go through premarital counseling, a lot of the issues don't even come up because not you, you're not a master of the tools, but at least you have the tools and now you know how to work through certain issues. Right. Now, once you've been married a little while, mm -hmm. I mean, where, where's kind of the next phase? I mean, there's that newlywed phase, everything's great, you're all on your best behavior. Mm -hmm. and, uh, th then when might you be likely to see people again? Um, the, next, the next time you, you usually see people is when they start having kids, right? The uh. kids, yeah, start to adjust, <laughs> right? Things start to adjust. You kind of get into that. It's okay, we've been married for a little while, and it's almost dangerous of you trying to kick, cl click on autopilot marriage. It's like, I don't really have to say I love you that much. We don't have to go on date nights, and that's a danger because, you know, th that love, you know, women, they want that emotion, they want that touch, they want that love. So that's probably the next time that we'll see them. And then uh, after that, maybe I'm, now I'm guessing, well, when the kids move out. If the kids uh oh, move, we have to start talking to each other again. Exactly. Who, and, and what's your name? Again? Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, that's, that's probably another time. Or when they go through, um, the kids get older, teenage years. So that brings stress as well. But again, it's still that fight of that, that autopilot. It's still that fight of, man, it's still, we have to work. And like, no matter how much you eat on Thanksgiving, that next day you're going to be hungry. Right, and it's right. kind of the same thing with marriage. Is, is no matter how long you've been married, you know, you still need to love and show that you love your spouse. You know, it's uh, it's funny. You'll hear a lot of people say, "Oh, it shouldn't be that much work. If you're really in love, it should just be easy and natural." And how, oh my, you're smiling from <laughs> ear to ear, going, "Ah, heard that before." Yeah, I mean, it's what a trap. It, it, right. I mean, it, it sounds good, right? It sounds really good, but you know, with any anything that that's that works well, anything that's successful, it takes work. You know, whatever it is, whether it's your job, whether it's, you know, in school, it takes work. And it's just like marriage. Marriage is one of the most dynamic, complex, yet the most beneficial relationships that anyone could ever have. So if you put the work in, man, it'll be great. Not to say that there won't be any issues, because, but if you change your perspective on issues and look at them as opportunities for growth, it changes everything. Now, when is this uh, retreat that you're having here, the, Rock marriage, uh, the Rock's Marriage Getaway? Yeah, uh, June 7th through the 9th. So, folks, you've still got time to plan for this. Mm -hmm. And again, I think I hope we've laid it out for you that in any stage of your marriage and your relationship, uh, this is the place to be. It's uh, a two-night stay. Mm -hmm. Two-night stay at the Western Resort. Okay, and, and I guess we're going to do a little bit of an early bird special here. You're going to kind of extend that just for our viewers here for now. Yes, yes, we'll extend that for, the, uh, for today. Okay, so what, what is the cost on this again? The cost is, uh, what, with the early bird, it'll, um, it'll drop down to 365. Just 365. Uh -huh. I mean, that's, you know, that includes the two-night stay. Two-night stay as well, yes. Oh, and a meal on Friday night. And a meal on Friday night as well. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually a lot of time. And I, I know a lot of people are going to say, ooh, you know, I don't know if I want to commit to that much time, you know, talking about relationships and everything. That's, that's liable to get a little, uh, a little oppressive by the end of the, the weekend. Yeah. Uh, allay their fears. I mean, but the, the theme is it's not just a promise, it's an adventure. And yeah, sometimes we live out, the right, to sick, you know, through a sickness and hell, good times and bad, to death do you part. You don't want to just live out your marriage and just wait till you die together, right? <laughs> you, I mean, you want... Well, you make it sound yeah, so I mean, appealing. You, you want adventure, you know, so we have, you know, we have a, um, a time where you, you learn dance lessons and then you, you get to dance a night away. We'll probably have like a mechanical bull this year to just have that, that fun, that excitement. So it's not just you sitting there and people are telling you, man, what you've done wrong as a husband or a wife, but man, this is really to bring out the good part in marriage and not just talk about the issues. A little dancing maybe, a mechanical bull, that's, yes. a, that's a nice wide variety. Yes. yes. And, and again, folks, nobody wants to sit there and, and browbeat you and tell you what you did wrong, but uh, if you're open to growth and to learning and to you know having that relationship tuned up, then th this weekend is going to be absolutely great for you. And, and isn't it nice if you can get a hold of people before there's problems? Absolutely. If they just say, hey, you know what, it's pretty good. wonder if it could be better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's just like, you know, in a car. I mean, 
you take your car in and get your oil changed. Nothing's wrong with your car. Your car's running fine. But you know that as long as I get this oil changed on a regular basis, things will flow smoothly. And it's the same thing in marriage. As long as you have those checkups, you invest in your marriage, man, things will run smoothly because the good things will be much better and the things that are challenges won't be as big of a deal. All right. So how do folks uh, get in touch here and get signed up? I think go, on, uh, go online, sdrock.com, and then go to um, uh, Marriage and Family Ministry, and they can sign up that way. sdrock.com, Marriage and Family Ministry ministry, click on that and get all signed up and uh, ready to go. Coming up here in June. Darren, it's great to see you. Thank you. As Good always. to be here.